Okay, so now you got it painted um, in white. Um, some of the colors will work. I've done um, decals over silver and um, yellow. I actually got one right now in yellow. I can show you real quick. But that one came out pretty cool. The decal, black decals, and the decal paper was the one with the clear background. I haven't done anything with white background really. Um, I will someday, but I prefer this, you know, and, and it works really good on a white casting. But um, I use Photoshop. I don't know. I'm not familiar with any of the other programs that people can use. Um, so I'm sure they're similar in 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 theory. So um, let me show you kind of how. I do it. What I normally do first is whatever casting I'm doing, because I'll make templates, is I'll take um, a good side picture for decals I'll want to put on the sides. Then I'll take a good one of the top of the car for if I'm going to do decals on the top. Um, if there's anything to put on the back, I would do something on the back and front as well any surface but just get a good flat um, picture of it of whatever area you're wanting to do and um, then I, I measure it <laughs> yeah I measure the car I use one of these um, they're from like um, a sewing kit thing but um, I, will, I will measure it out um, and that's what I do in a uh, Photoshop is is I will create a, a file. I don't know if the other programs are similar to this. Um, I don't, not for sure. But anyways, I'll just create a file, and um, that is the the size, the measurements. So I measure the. Um, oops. I was doing the side I would <laughs> oh my goodness measure the side and then the height of the car and that's what I would make the size of my file um, in Photoshop you can um, choose your width and height to make the 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 size of the file once I do that um, I mean, this isn't exactly right, but I will open up a picture of the car. Let me get to it real quick. Probably should have prepared better for this. <laughs> but I mean, this is this is um. See, I make I make templates of all of my cars. Um, but anyways, just to um get an idea here's a van and in Photoshop you can you know change the size of it um, I would drag the picture over to the file whatever size the car is and then just line it up I mean, this is this isn't exactly right let's say this is the measurement of the the side of the van I don't know if you can see that very well but And then I just drag it to the edges. Whatever the measurements are for the car, and whatever I make the size of the the um, the file. So like if I was making um, decals for this van, then I would save this image, and then I would um, oops. This is a lengthy process, and I mean, people. Some people just order them off of um, um, Amazon, not Amazon, um, eBay. I've noticed that there were some on eBay uh, for one sixty fourth scale. But let's say I was gonna put some stripes on this. But I've already, you know, like messed with all of these in Photoshop. Um, so, I mean, this is, 
I'm just giving a quick rundown for anybody that's familiar with Photoshop. Um, then I drag the image over to this file and then measure it out, you know, change the shape of it according to how I want it on the, um, I don't know if that's going to show up very well, how I want it on the side of the car. Once that's done, then I will have a file started that is the size of um, of the decal sheets. Like I have some that are regular size of paper, um, eight and a half by eleven, and I will drag the image once I have it sized right, the size that I want it. I will drag it over to the um, sheet that's going to be my decal paper and then I just fill the sheet up of different things that I'm working on and um, print it out so basically um, you make a template for the take pictures of the car make templates for it I use um, yeah so that, that's kinda how I do it I use um, once I strip the casting down, that's the one I use for my pictures, just the, the, the body. I don't have it put together or anything, and I'll make the, the templates in Photoshop that way by measuring it and making the file that size and dragging the images over to it and then putting it onto a, another file that is the size of the decal paper. There's lots of different ways. I mean, there's a little bit, I guess, complicated process with Photoshop if you don't know Photoshop or if you, I mean... It's not a program most people have anyways. I was in school for a little while for uh, graphic design, so um, that's how I ended up with the, the software was through school. But um, it's worked for this pretty well. I mean, I know the basics. Um, ideally, you would want to use Adobe Illustrator, which is vector images. You get a lot cleaner image, which is something I'm trying to learn a little bit more about. But anyways, so once you do that, you'll print out the decals. If you're printing your own, or if you, you know, or if you buy them off of eBay, um, either way. But um, even the ones on eBay, when you get those, you'll want to put um, a couple of layers of clear coat on the decal paper before you do any cutting or anything. Just spray the whole paper down a couple of clear coat uh, layers of clear coat to protect the ink before you even put it, because it will rub off if you don't. I learned the hard way, and you have to have a good coat on there. Because even a small coat of it, a thin coat, if it's not thick enough, it will rub paint off. But, um, or the ink. So that's kind of the, the process of that. I know it's kind of um, lengthy and difficult, but um, however you get your decals, what you have your decals. Um, if you're just getting started and you don't have the software or anything, eBay has some pretty cool, cool stuff. Um, and pretty reasonable prices, too. I mean, they have a bunch of different things. But um, check that out, you know, if you want to order them off of eBay or print your own. Um, once you have the, the clear coat put on there, then um, that's when it becomes fun. So let me um, turn this camera around and get the stuff we'll need to apply decals to the, the casting. Okay, so now that you have the decals um, printed out or purchased from eBay or somebody made them for you, uh, and you've got the clear coat put on there and it's all dried now it's time to apply them so um, I'll show you some of the things I use um, to do this it's going to be do a couple of decals on this um, casting you know just keep it simple so we don't have a super long video because it's all the same same thing okay you're gonna need um, some warm water <laughs> your casting of course that's prepped and ready for decals like on this one, it was primered white and then um, one layer of clear coat put on there. Trim out your decals. Uh, this is um, clear backing decals, so you don't have to be precise. Now, if you had um, the white backing decals, you can put those on any color and they show up just like it's printed. But you have to cut out every single white. So if it's an intricate shape like this, it would be kind of hard to trim out the back part of the flame. 
but it can be done, but I, I don't mess with it. So um, you'll need that. Um, a pair of tweezers to get the decal out of the, the water. I use this kind right here that's kind of hooked like that. Some micro set. Um, got this from Amazon. I get everything from Amazon basically. Uh, a brush to apply it. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, um, find you know where you're going to put the decals. I want to put the just put a Hot Wheels decal on the side of the, the car. So you just put it in the warm water, let it soak for a moment. Uh, the micro set. Um, just dip the brush in there a little bit and put it on the car. This what this does is dissolve the decal paper very pretty good so that it fits in the little crevices and everything to give it a painted on look um, instead of like a looking like a sticker and it, and it does there's a there's a a difference if you pay attention to it. Um, let's see if this is ready yet. Got to catch it first. Uh, if it slides off a little bit, then it's ready. Yep, there it goes. It's ready. Um, you just cut, apply to where you want it on the decal. You can maneuver it around a little bit. Let's see if that looks good. Yeah, I'm liking where that's laying at. Then you might want to put a little bit more on top of the the decal to kind of let it set in there. Let's do the other side. Be careful, like when you're you're handling it, um, that you don't grab it. <laughs> I've messed up decals by not paying attention to where I'm grabbing and stuff. So um. Keep that in mind. I got clumsy fingers sometimes. I make a mess with all this stuff. And it varies on the brand of decal paper and, and everything on how long it takes to uh, to release the the decal. You know, when when you're you're applying this images that are, are decals that are the same on the sides be sure and kind of eyeball it and make sure that they are you want a, a, a uniform looking um, application so that's pretty close yeah I like that that looks alright okay Thought I would do one of my smooth criminal decals. We're gonna, I'm going to put that one on the trunk of the car because it fit. <laughs> These are ones I already had made um, and printed out. I didn't do anything specific for this this casting. Um, just use what I had, you know, since this is tutorial video. Let's pull it off of there. Lay it down. Eyeball it, make sure it's pretty straight. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. So we'll have that one on the back. These on the side. So you'll let this set, um, let the, the micro set um, do its job, you know, let it get in there and dissolve the decals. Um, once that is, um, these are dry, I let it dry for a while, um, usually not a certain amount of time because I'm usually doing a few at a time, so I kind of just start an assembly line basically um, 
and then do it. Okay, so recap, um, what you need is uh, your um, warm water, your decals obviously, and your, your casting. Uh, make sure that you did clear coat the decal paper properly, um, a couple of layers on there because it, uh, it will come off, the ink will come off. Even purchase ones usually don't have the clear coat on there is what I've noticed online. They, they do say clear coat it. Um, you'll need uh, tweezers. Yeah, get all this stuff back out. I use these that kind of have that bend to it. It kind of helps um, to um, maneuver it around. And when you're, you're, if you need to do a lot of moving and adjusting, if you dip your finger in the water and add some water to it, it will move a little bit easier. Um, you'll need your micro set and your brush to apply it. Um, this isn't completely necessary. Um, it does make a huge difference in my opinion. Um, I believe I, I'd, I'd seen it online before but I'd never used it um, and then I, th I believe it was Champion DJK he um, showed this in one of his videos and I'm like I'm gonna try it and see what it does but I do some castings that have the um, the decal run from the hood down the side and this lays it perfect and it will get into the little crevices the door creases um, gives it a painted on look and it, it does make a difference I didn't think it would be that big of a difference but it does gives it a nice overall clean finish look um, so that's basically what you need once this dries be sure and let the, the solvent dry very good um, and the decal paper is stuck really nice then you're gonna add a couple of layers of clear coat on top of the decal um, the gloss clear coat um, and that, that's about it. Um, the differences in the, the decal paper is one has a white backing and one is a clear backing. Clear backing will show up. The, the color of the car will show up, so if it's a light color, it will work. Um, I've done a few light colors and it works. White shows up beautiful, but um, the, the white back decal paper, you have to cut out everything all the white has to be taken off or the white will show so um keep that in mind when you're making decals and you're wanting to apply it um i haven't done i have some printed up on white paper but i haven't done anything with them yet so anyways i hope that helps you know we started from a regular casting and now we got it got a decals on there um it's not clear coated yet let's put it together though and get a a little a look at it so this is where we're at so far with it um, did the wheel swap painted it white had the decals applied um, looking pretty good um, next video we will do some details and make it pop even more adding headlights and tail lights um, I will kind of show you how I do that in the next video so stay tuned for that and we'll completely finish this up um, once you let that stuff dry, be sure and put your couple layers of clear coat, and then it's ready for detailing. So anyways, this is Smooth Criminal signing up. Be good or be good at it.